Today's review is for the Precision Sensors Pro Finder 5000 Stub Finder. I've had several inexpensive stub finders, you know, like the $15, $20 ones from Home Depot, and I've never had any luck with them. They're, they're just, they're always terrible. You think you find a stud, and then you move it over, and then no, and yes, it's a completely frustrating experience. So I, I saw this one over at Costco for uh, for 35 bucks, and uh, it's interesting. It's got a, instead of just having one uh, location where it senses the stud, there's a there's a whole row of LEDs going across the top here, and uh, and it can show you exactly where where that whole uh, span of the stud is. It could even show you two studs at the same time. So uh, you know, it was a little bit more money, but uh, you know, I figured it might be worth it. So uh, let me show you what it does. I'm going to pick up the camera here and uh, bring it over towards the wall. Uh, now up here I've got an old fashioned magnetic stud finder. I already found the stud. There's a screw there. I got the magnet stuck on the screw. I know there's a stud there. So there's a little button on the side of the uh, stud finder here to activate it. I press that button. Nothing happens. No lights are showing up so I guess there's no stud there. And as I bring it over towards where the stud is, you can see the lights start to light up right underneath where I've got that magnetic stud finder. I know there's a screw there. Um, and if I move it, the lights dance around a little bit, but basically you know that the stud is there. If I go down, down along the stud, if I go to the right, if I go to the left, the lights move back and forth accordingly. Yeah, it takes a, yeah, it works pretty good. I know that there's a stud there. Uh, let me try next to this uh, next to this outlet. There should be a stud on one side of the other here, right? Oh yeah, yep, yeah, right there on the side of the outlet. There's a stud. Yep, right there. And uh, about 16 inches over, there should be one on the other side of the switch. Oh yeah, there's a stud there. Look at it lighting up. Uh, now let's see what happens if. Uh, we give it something that's not a stud. Here's a vent here. Let's see what happens when we try. We know that there's a piece of ductwork going up to that vent. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. The thing is, uh, uh, it's not lighting up. It's showing me nothing. Hmm. Move it back and forth a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. There it goes. Yeah. It's showing me that there's definitely something in the wall there. There's a stud here, and then uh, in between the studs and the cavity, there's the uh, duct work going all the way across, and then there should be another stud over here. Ah, there it is. Okay, perfect. Now this is sheetrock. This is an addition to my house. This is the newer part of the house, so uh, sheetrock is uh, tends to be a little bit easier to uh, find studs in. Let's take it over to the challenge section. We're going to try it out on some plaster. Okay, in the hallway here. Uh, this railing here. Okay, we know that there's a stud above where the railing is uh, is secured. Let me come underneath here. Probably easier to see. Okay. Uh, okay. Lights dancing all over the place. Um, yeah. Yeah. It seems to be indicating a stud under there. Seems. I don't know what's going on over the left there. Maybe. Yeah. No. It's lighting up. Uh, turn off. Uh, I don't know what's going on over here. Uh, let me try it up on a little bit higher on the wall. Maybe we can see what's going on here. Uh, what's that? A double stud? Uh, oh wait, no, it all turned off. Now it's all off. Um, something lit up for a second. No, uh, to the left. Is there a stud here? No. To the right? No. Left? Is there a stud here? Wait. Um, something here. No. Fall the stud down. There's something here. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, on the plaster, yeah, it doesn't. It maybe sort of works a little bit, but basically, like most stud finders I've used, it's pretty useless on the plaster.